36, 37, 38, 39. Box three, spool five. Three, three. <laughs> Three, four, two, nine. Good God. Seven. You rascal. Box three. Spool. Five. Five. Little scoundrel. Box three. Spool five. Mother at rest at last. Hmm. The black ball. Black ball. The dark nurse. Light improvement in bowel condition. Hmm. Memorable what? Equinox. Memorable Equinox. Memorable Equinox? Farewell to... Love. Thirty-nine today. Sound as a... Thirty-nine today, sound as a bell. Apart from my old weakness, and intellectually I have now every reason to suspect at the crest of the wave, or thereabouts. Celebrated the awful occasion, as in recent years, quietly at the wine house. Not a soul sat before the fire with closed eyes, separating the grain from the husks. 
jotted down a few notes on the back of an envelope. Good to be back in my den, in my old rags. I've just eaten, I regret to say, three bananas, and only with difficulty refrained from a fourth Fatal things for a man with my condition. Cut him out. <laughs> the new light above my table is a great improvement. With all this darkness round me, I feel less alone. In a way. I love to get up and move about in it. Then back here to me. Crap. The grain. Now what, I wonder, do I mean by that? I mean, I suppose I mean those things worth having when all the dust has, when all my dust has settled. I close my eyes and try to imagine them. Extraordinary silence this evening. I strain my ears and do not hear a sound. Old Miss McGloam sings always at this hour, but not tonight. Songs of her girlhood, she says. Hard to think of her as a girl. Wonderful woman, though. Carrie, I fancy. Shall I sing when I am her age, if I ever am? No. Did I sing as a boy? No. Did I ever sing? No. just been listening to an old year, passages at random. I did not check in the book, but it must be at least 10 or 12 years ago. At that time, I think I was still living on and off with Bianca in Kedar Street. Well, out of that, Jesus, yes, hopeless business. Not much about her apart from a tribute to her eyes, very warm. I suddenly saw them again, incomparable. Ah, well. These old PMs are gruesome, but I often find them before embarking on a new retrospect. Hard to believe I was ever that young whelp. The voice, Jesus, and the aspirations, <laughs> and the resolutions <laughs> to drink less in particular. <laughs> Statistics. 1,700 hours out of the preceding 8,000 odd consumed on licensed premises alone. More than 20%, say 40% of his waking life. Plans for a less engrossing sexual life. Last illness of his father. Flagging pursuit of happiness unattainable laxation, sneers at what he calls his youth, and thanks to God that it's over. 
false ring there. Shadows of the opus magnum, closing with a yelp to providence. <laughs> <laughs> What remains of all that misery? A girl in a shabby green coat on a railway station platform? No. When I look back, that is gone with what I hope is perhaps a glint of the old eye to come. There is of course the house on the canal where mother lay a dying in the late autumn after her long viduity. And the dying in the late autumn after her long viduity and the Vicious viduity, state or condition of being or remaining, a widow or widower, being or remaining. Deep weeds of viduity, also of an animal, especially a bird. Vidua or weaver bird. Black plumage of male. could see her window. There I sat in the biting wind, wishing she were gone. Hardly a soul. Just a few regulars, nursemaids, infants, old men, dogs. I got to know them quite well. Oh, by appearance, of course, I mean. 
One dark young beauty I recollect particularly, all white and starch, incomparable bosom, with a big black hooded perambulator, most funereal thing. Whenever I looked in her direction, she had her eyes on me. And yet, when I was bold enough to speak to her, not having been introduced, she threatened to call a policeman. As if I had designs on her virtue. <laughs> was there when blind went down one of those dirty brown roller affairs throwing a ball for a little white dog as chance would have it. I happened to look up, and there it was, all over and done with at last. I sat on for a few moments, with the ball in my hand, and the dog yelping and pawing at me. Moments. Her moments. dog's moments. In the end I held it out to him and he took it in his mouth gently, gently. A small, old, black, hard, solid rubber ball. I shall feel it in my hand until my dying day, I might have kept it, but I gave it to the dog. Ah, well. Virtually a year of profound gloom and indigence until that memorable night in March at the end of the jetty in the howling wind never to be forgotten when suddenly I saw the whole thing, the vision at last. This I fancy is what I have chiefly to record this evening against the day when my work will be done and perhaps no place left in my memory, warm or cold, for the miracle that, for the fire that set it alight. What I suddenly saw then was this, that the belief I had been going on all my life, namely, <laughs> great granite rocks, the foam flying up in the light of the lighthouse and the wind gauge spinning like a propeller. Clear to me at last that the dark I have always struggled to keep under is in reality my most... <laughs> a 
unshatterable association until my dissolution of storm and night with the light of the understanding and the fire. in her breasts and my hand on her. We lay there without moving, but under us all moved and moved us gently up and down and from side to side. Upper lake with the punt, bathed off the bank, then pushed out into the stream and drifted. She lay stretched out on the floorboards with her hands under her head and her eyes closed. Sun blazing down, bit of a breeze, water nice and lively. I noticed a scratch on her thigh and asked her how she came by it. Picking gooseberries, she said. I said again I thought it was hopeless and no good going on, and she agreed without opening her eyes. I asked her to look at me, and after a few moments, after a few moments she did, but the eyes just slits because of the glare. I bent over her to get them in the shadow and they opened. Let me in. We drifted in among the flags and stuck. The way they went down sighing before the stem. I lay down across her with my face in her breasts and my hand on her. We lay there without moving, but under us all moved and moved us gently up and down and from side to side. Past midnight, never knew.
Just been listening to that stupid bastard I took myself for 30 years ago. Hard to believe I was ever as bad as that. A voice, Jesus. Thank God that's all over and done with anyway. Everything there, everything on this old muck ball, all the light and dark and famine and feasting of the ages. Yes! Oh, let that go. Take his mind off his homework. Jesus! Maybe he was right. Maybe he was right. <sighs> Nothing to say. Not a squeak. What's a year now? Sour cud in the iron stool. Reveled in the word spool. Spool. Happiest moment of the past half million. Seventeen copies sold. Eleven of which at trade price. Two free circulating libraries beyond the seas. Getting known. Crawled out once or twice. Before the summer was cold, sat shivering in the park, drowned in dreams and burning to be gone. Not a soul. Last fancies. Mm. 
Mighty Pam Panda. Scalded the eyes out of me. Reading Effie again. A page a day with tears again. Could have been happy with her up there on the bow tick and the pines and the dunes. Could I? And she? Fanny came in a couple of times. Bony old ghost of a whore. And I couldn't do much. But I suppose better than finger and thumb. The last time wasn't so bad. How do you manage it at your age? She said. And I told her I've been saving up for her all my life. And I went to Vespers once. Like when I was in short trousers. Dozed away and fell off the pew. Sometimes wandered in the night. If a last effort. Finish your booze now, get to your bed. Go on with that drivel in the morning or leave it at that. Leave it at that! And I propped up in the dark and wander. Be again in the dingle on a Christmas Eve gathering holly, the red barret. Be again on crockin on a Sunday morning in the haze with the bitch. Stop and listen to the bells. And so on. Be again, be again, all that old misery. Once wasn't enough for you! Lie down across her. Gooseberries, she said. I said again I thought it was 
hopeless, no good going on. And she agreed without opening her eyes. I asked her to look at me, and after a few moments, after a few moments, she did. But the eyes just slits because of the glare. I bent over her to get them in the shadow and they opened. Let me in. We drifted in among the flags and stuck. The way they went down sighing before the stem. I lay down across her with my face in her breasts and my hand on her. We lay there without moving, but under us all moved and moved us gently up and down and from side to side. Past midnight, never knew such silence. The earth might be uninhabited. Here I end this reel. Box three, spool five. Perhaps my best years are gone when there was still a chance of happiness. But I wouldn't want them back, not with the fire in me now. No, I wouldn't want them.